Before we start, I just need to get a few things out the way. So, um, one, I very much dread my family hearing me recording and talking, so um, I'm gonna try not to let them hear me. So if, if the audio quality is not good, I apologize for that. Second is, this is going to be like a video form of a post I made on Tumblr talking about my opinions and thoughts on the show, I, I and I am gonna like elaborate a little more on things. I'm gonna talk a little bit more so it's not a complete carbon copy. I even made some talk sprites just for this video. And if I ever do a video that's formatted like this again in the future, I'll try to polish the talk sprites a little more nicely. One more thing, and I feel like this should be common sense, but I should probably reiterate this just in case anyways. Just because you like a show, a media, a game, or whatever, even if you like a certain media, you can still criticize it. Nothing's immune to criticism, so this is what I have to say about Inanimate Insanity, what it's kind of become nowadays. This is not out of any malition or anything. Like, I really do like this show and the creators, but now my opinion on the show has become more complex than the Rubik's Cube at this point, so we're gonna talk a little bit about that. So maybe it's just because I'm getting into some darker media that's what's influencing a sour foiling over my thoughts on the show nowadays, but to cut to the chase, I don't really think I like the direction of where the show's going at this point. When it was just season 1 and 2 existing, to me the show's whole thing was that it was a neat little niche show that, while the first season didn't age so well, the second season really made such a big impact from it, being just this niche little show that's able to start diving into more complex, darker tones. It showed that it had the potential, that it wasn't afraid to get even deeper and fleshed out. And it's really just brought us all together as a community. We've honestly had such fond feelings for this show, like the characters mean things to us, they are comfort to us. Meanwhile, Inventational, the third season, is more like a spin-off to the already existing I.I., but it's still counted as being canon to the franchise. It makes a lot of moments in the show feel really fluctuating and retcon. Fan service is kind of a pretty big pointer about the third season now. It's kind of a pretty big problem. At this point, the fandom itself is just writing how the characters are going to act in the show. And because now the writers just keep on ebbing more and more of the fanon interpretations of the characters into the canon, it just makes a lot of moments where the characters feel really out of character and even like bland, just stripped of who they once were. Like, Paintbrush is more than just a character who's non-binary and best friends with Lightbulb. Test Tube is more than just a parental figure to bot and not even a hyperbole at this point dick riding fan. And okay, is it just me or does is the crew getting a little too comfy with demonizing Cabby? Like, yeah, what she did in the early episodes might be a little scummy. She's shown that she wants to improve and just get along with others and to just be seen as a person. And the characters just continuously push her away and mock her or whatever to the point it's just, it's just kind of sour to see it now. And this has been pointed out by a few people in the community that Cabby is coded as a disabled character. She's like disabled coded. She's on wheels and there's this thing with her having short-term memory loss where her files really are just this thing that really does help her. You know, the whole, oh, her files are bad, 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 bad. It's considering this is a disabled character, well, disabled coded with that we're talking about, it's kind of uh, really weird to think of. 
Anyways, the crew says that they wanted to go back to how Ai was like before season 2 and its serious tone, and that is the case usually, with the exception of a couple moments in the show where it does get heavy. But what I'm trying to say though is that it's just not effective. It's a little hard for me to explain here, but it comes off as like stale instead. It's like the show took a step forward, but then three steps back. And another problem, and well, this is more like a fear that I have, is that I feel like I can't say or speak out on how I feel or have an honest opinion that will contradict with a majority of what the community thinks and how I'll metaphorically just get plummeted simply because I'm not following the hive mind of what everyone else thinks of the show. And here's another thing I want to bring up. Going back to how I said about how the writers at this point are just writing the fan -in interpretations of the characters into the canon show is that, oddly enough, it makes it feel... At this point, Inamnit and Sandy just feel so corporate nowadays. And not even just Ai itself, but other object shows. Like, the whole big thing about the object show community is that it's about creativity. You can just make what you want, put in all this storytelling, these cool and unique characters, and with how corporate everything is getting nowadays, it's everything's just the same carbon copy. Like you have to be this exact formula or you'll just be nothing. Isn't kind of, I think to me, a point of a fandom is that you get to express yourself. You get to curate what you want to. And this whole corporate stuff is slowly but surely, for lack of better words, slowly killing this community, the light that it once was. And I don't think me being aware of the existence of object shows for a long time and how that's resonated with me for a long time makes these feelings any better as well. I can't lie though, there are some nice things about Ai Ai now, all the new characters it's brought along, and they even managed to get Saber Spark on the show, which I can respect that, but it's also kinda hard to enjoy those nice things with everything else I mentioned. Long story short is that, to me, Ai Ai has gone from a niche show with enormous potential in storytelling and showing that, to fans versus favorites to fan service and playing favorites. So that's kind of all I really had to say about the show and kind of the object show community at this point. I apologize that this video was quite a little negative, but uh, I had some things to say, indeed. So yeah, I hope you didn't mind my little tangent that I went on and who knows maybe there are some people who do agree with what I gotta say about the show maybe it's not just a me problem and well even if there's just at least one person who listens to what I have to say that makes me feel appreciated so that's all for now have a nice day, everyone. I'll see you later.